Hi there, it's Rob Hillman from Easy Training Guides and today we've got a short video on the book How to Unlock Your Hip Flexors. Uh, that's actually written by Mike Westerall and Rick Casselge uh, and it's quite interesting because uh, if, we've, if we uh, have our hip flexors um, adequately exercised then it can stop a lot of things like joint pain, uh, digestive problems, low libido and even uh, poor posture so there's quite a lot can be said for this uh, their methodology actually. Uh, before we get into the video uh, please just click the subscribe button down the bottom and you'll get uh, all my latest updates uh, videos we're coming out with new videos every week with new tips and uh, interesting uh, information for you to use uh, and so let's get on with the video thank you hey guys have you been feeling any hip flexor pain recently it sucks I know so that's why today you're going to learn what's causing your hip flexor pain or tightness while running or jumping or squatting or doing any other activities and you're going to learn how to prevent it and keep it from happening in the future okay so, what if I told you that there is a muscle, in fact, it's your body's most powerful and primal muscle that you've probably never heard of, let alone you've probably never learned that it's responsible for the hip flexor pain that you're feeling right now. The muscle I'm talking about is called the psoas muscle. So when this muscle is out of balance or too tight, your hip flexors tighten up. And as a result, then you're feeling pain in your hip flexors because the root of the hip flexor pain is tight hip flexors. By the way, there's a really good ebook on this topic called Unlock Your Hip Flexors. I will leave a link in the description below for you to check it out yourself. There's a ton of free helpful information that's really worth reading. Okay, so the number one thing that causes hip flexor pain is actually sitting. Yeah, I know it sounds simple, but think about it. While you're sitting, your psoas muscle is resting and it weakens so it gets shorter and it gets tighter, most often resulting in your hip flexor pain and joint pain and bad posture. Do you see where I'm going with this? Basically, don't spend too much time sitting. Honestly, our bodies aren't designed to sit in chairs. It's really unnatural for us. Before chairs were even around, our ancestors rested in a deep squatted position. Most of us can't even squat like that anymore because we spend too much time sitting at work or while home or while driving. Even if you are the most active of athletes, you still may suffer from a tight psoas muscle due to the amount of time that you're sitting each day and spending all that time in a chair. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a few stretches to work on the psoas muscle to unlock your hips. Okay, so the first one is the butterfly stretch. Just sit on the floor. Bring your heels together as close to your body as you can. I'm pretty flexible, so I can get them really close. And try to open your toes like a book. Lean forward, but make sure your body stays straight so you're not hunching over like this. So you want to lean over your heels, and once you feel that stretch, you want to leave it there for about 30 seconds. So just relax and repeat. The second one is a simple lunge stretch. So position yourself with one leg forward resting on the knee of the back leg and gently lower your hips downwards and forwards and hold that position. So lean forward. Hold that position for about 30 seconds and then switch sides so you can do each leg twice to really loosen those hip flexors. The final stretch, the third stretch, is called the knee to chest stretch. So simply just lie on the floor with both legs extended and then pull your right knee into your chest and hold it while your left leg is pressed to the floor. Hold for about 30 seconds to two minutes depending on how tight your hip flexor is and then repeat on the other leg. So watch really quick. Doing these stretches consistently will help reduce tension and pain in your hip flexors as well as strengthen that psoas muscle over time. So again, there's a really, really good ebook that I would highly recommend. It's all about hip flexors and pain. It's called Unlock Your Hip Flexors. I will leave it in the description below. And even if you don't buy it, 
There's a ton of free information on the website that is really worth reading. It covers pretty much everything about hip flexors, so you should definitely check it out. All right, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you got something out of it. And remember, stick to the basics. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. Avoid sitting for long periods of time. And do these stretches consistently, and you should see some results in no time. See ya.